It has been five years since the last movie in the Pirates of the Caribbean saga came out, but fans are still hopeful that they'll see the next installment on the big screen soon. But now it seems like they'll have to wait for a while longer. In this video, we'll be talking about what is going on between Margot Robbie and the producers, and much more. Let's dive right in. Starting with what Margot has said so far. It's not a pirate life for the Suicide Squad star after all. Back in 2020, it was said that DC's favorite Margot Robbie would take the lead role in Pirates of the Caribbean 6 in place of Johnny Depp's Captain Jack Sparrow. Then in August, producer Jerry Bruckheimer announced that the sixth Pirates of the Caribbean movie is in the works, confirming Robbie's involvement and eventual takeover. The Barbie star had spoken out about how excited she was to introduce a lot of girl power to that world. Everything seemed to be working out well and the fans were happy. Until the Vanity Fair interview came out this November. In the interview, she talked about how the plan was to develop a more female-led project and that it was in the making for quite a while. But now it appears Disney isn't as interested in doing it. She claimed that the project had been shelved. Truly heartbreaking, isn't it? The Oscar-nominated actress said that the idea was to make a different kind of story from the original and that it was going to be a really cool one that fans would have loved to see. Many had first speculated that it was all due to Disney's unfinished business with Johnny Depp, but now it seems it's not quite that. Next up, the producer has denied these claims. It seems that the film has been let out of Davy Jones's locker if it wasn't ever there in the first place. Despite the actress's prior comments, producer Jerry Bruckheimer claims that the female-led Pirates of the Caribbean film with Margot Robbie at the helm isn't dead in the water. Bruckheimer insisted that the project is still alive within the studio. He revealed that two Pirates of the Caribbean films are still in production, one of which includes a younger cast while the other one is the Margot-led project. He added that he is committed to bringing the concept to the big screen in the near future and teased its powerful plot. Bruckheimer did, however, say that priority is being given to a film with a different story, something that has apparently been in active development for a while now. When asked why Pirates 6 has been so difficult, Bruckheimer admitted that they're all challenging, but he was hopeful for the future. The producer went on to say that halting the project might be a blessing in disguise for the actress since she's very busy nowadays. Could there be two more Pirates of the Caribbean films in development? If Jerry Bruckheimer has anything to say about it, the answer is yes. The fans can finally rejoice. Up next, how did the fans react to this casting? It's no doubt that the movie series would be incomplete without the presence of Johnny Depp. So when news broke out that the star wouldn't be returning as Captain Jack Sparrow, the fans were disappointed to say the least. Many of them refused to accept a new pirate film unless Depp returned to his role, despite the concerning amount of accusations made against the star. A lot of people claim that his portrayal of Jack Sparrow in Pirates is what really makes it successful. The hashtag no Johnny no Pirates hashtag on Twitter gained new popularity as a result of Margot Margot Robbie's casting news being made public. Although critics acknowledged Margot Robbie's accomplishment as an actress, they still felt like she wouldn't be able to live up to the original. Fans started contacting Margot asking for her assistance in bringing Depp back to the franchise, along with exhausting all other options, such as starting petitions to get him back on board. The backlash didn't just stay with Robbie, but also came toward the franchise production company, Disney. Many threatened to end their subscriptions with the company for less letting go of Johnny. Despite the fact that many Pirates of the Caribbean fans were not happy about the casting, the Suicide Squad actress fan base was eager to see her in the new role. They came out in her support and praised Robbie's talent, ability, and passion. Following that, what we know so far about Pirates of the Caribbean 6, nobody can deny that Pirates of the Caribbean has quite a cult following. Everyone is super eager to know anything about the upcoming movie. This unfortunate development about Margot Robbie's Pirates of the Caribbean film could signal that trouble is growing within the series. But this setback is unlikely to mean that the pirate's name is utterly dead under the Disney banner. With $4.5 billion in total revenue, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise ranks as the 15th highest grossing movie franchise of all time. In short, this means that the House of Mouse would be wise to avoid ending it anytime soon. Although many cast members have shown interest in returning for one last film, it's still unclear who will really be cast in the movie. A release date for Pirate 6 has not yet been announced by Disney. However, if it does arrive in theaters based on the dates of the other films, 
films it will probably open over the summer. It's uncertain where Pirates will go next after the Margot Robbie revival was put on hold. There have been rumors about other Pirate 6 versions, including one with Karen Gillan being made. Another idea would be to reunite Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom for a sequel and tell a new, different tale. Whether it's a reboot or a type of sequel, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise definitely needs a new direction to become relevant once more. Let's hope Disney has something more fantastic in store. Coming up, what are Margot Robbie's upcoming projects? Losing an amazing star like Robbie definitely hurts, but it's not a big problem for the actress herself. It seems like even without this movie on the cards, Margot still has her hands pretty full. The two-time Oscar nominee will star in Babylon and Barbie soon and is pretty busy with their promotions nowadays. Not content with owning the summer of 2023 with just two films, Robbie will also appear in Wes Anderson's upcoming Asteroid City, which will be released next June. Along with her co-star in Barbie, Ryan Gosling, Robbie will reportedly soon show her acting skills in a new Ocean's Eleven prequel. The actress is not slowing down anytime soon. Now let's talk about Johnny Depp's rumored return to the franchise. First up, why was Johnny Depp dropped from the project in the first place? Although Johnny Depp has portrayed several memorable roles, Jack Sparrow is by far his most well-known role. The actor appeared in five films as the character and nearly returned for a sixth. Disney, on the other hand, decided to remove Johnny Depp from the part because of the controversy caused by charges made by his ex-wife, Amber Heard. She accused him of domestic violence, along with abusive behavior towards her throughout their time together. These accusations took the industry by storm, and it was not shocking that Disney decided to drop Depp from all his upcoming projects with them. Even before all the accusations, Disney's production head Sean Bailey hinted in 2018 that the sixth film might not feature Sparrow. When questioned if the series would survive without its most famous cast member, he said it required fresh energy. The actor later stated that he felt betrayed by the company with whom he had developed such a long-standing relationship. Depp had wished that he would have gotten the chance to properly say goodbye to the beloved role. According to rumors, Depp lost millions of dollars as a result of getting fired from Pirate 6. In June, a representative for Depp told People that a story stating the actor would be returning to the Pirates of the Caribbean series for a paycheck of more than $300 million was fake. Fans of Depp may have to wait a little longer or forever to see him once again don the crazy Captain Jack's hat. Following that, Jerry Bruckheimer wants Johnny Depp to return. Jerry Bruckheimer would love to see Johnny Depp return to the franchise. The producer of hit movies like Beverly Hills Cop and Top Gun, Bruckheimer also confirmed that Captain Jack Sparrow would never die. Die. He stated that he'd already tried to kill him off and it didn't work. When asked whether Johnny would be returning, Bruckheimer claimed he can't answer that question, but he did acknowledge that the fans would love to see the actor come back. He claims that Disney would have the last decision on a potential Depp return. The producer said that the actor was a friend and a terrific actor, and that it's quite unfortunate that personal life creeps into everything that an actor does. So it looks like the door for his return is not fully closed as of yet, right? Could this be as a result of Depp's victory in his defamation case against his controversial ex, Amber Heard, in court? Maybe Captain Jack's swashbuckling story isn't over yet. All we can respond with is, aye aye. Finally, is there any hope for his return? It goes without saying that the actor adored the role and at one point wished to continue starring in it. But after his unfortunate scandal, Depp stated that he would never return to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. But we're hopeful that time may change his mind. Considering that Depp has been cleared of his personal issues, returning him to the Pirates franchise would seem to be the most sensible course of action for the studio. It would not only help the studio, but also the movie would be able to become a blockbuster, as fans would rush to support their favorite actor. While it's still uncertain whether he'll come back, the news about Margot Robbie does raise the chances of it. It seems to essentially come down to Disney's willingness to admit that they made a mistake in firing Johnny in the first place. That's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. So who do you think will end up starring in the movie? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We'll see you next time.